All right, looks like we have a new character, actually a new ship inbound. It's the Tide Dagger. Um, clearly it's gonna be a galactic chase ship, so that's pretty annoying. Um, but that's what they like to do nowadays, put the stuff there. It looks like the pilot is Sith Trooper. To me, that seems kind of random. Sith Trooper is like a clone trooper. I mean, a stormtrooper. They're just, I don't know, a minion. Like, why does he get his own ship? Like, I feel like Sith Trooper should be with with somebody else. You know what I mean? Like one of those ships that have a couple pilots, not just him. It's kind of weird, but okay. Um, even though I'm sure more people, or maybe more people, I don't know, use uh, Sith Trooper with First Order... I would imagine that this ship's coming into the game for the Sith um, takeover thing that they're planning with, what, the Leviathan, uh, Nihilus's um, capital ship. I don't think this really matters for First Order. I mean, you could put it with your First Order squad, make your executor, I mean, your, uh, what is it called? I don't know, whatever the First Order <laughs> capital ship is, make that squad better. But I would imagine that this is for the Sith. Also, another side note, they changed the picture up. Normally it has like the the little breakdown and stuff. This is just a big scene with a little bit of information over here about the character. I don't know if I like this. It's cool for for a change, but kind of like the old way better. Oh well. Anyways, key attributes: gains bonus turns to retaliate against enemies. Critical hits can keep ability block applied. Enemies below full health give benefits to the tie dagger. That's kind of weird. Tie Dagger provides, like, you know, you'd almost think the Tie Dagger helps the enemies that are hurting, not the hurting enemies help Tie Dagger. It's kind of backwards. <laughs> Anyways, Tie Dagger provides offense for the upcoming Sith Leviathan le fleet. Yep, that's exactly what I just said. <laughs> Which complements the defense Fury brings to the table. Inspiration. Tie Daggers made their on screen debut in Rise of Skywalker. They were deployed by the Final Order's Zeiston class to Star Destroyers. We worked closely with Locusfilm to ensure that the weapons on the TIE Dagger were accurately represented, with the lasers from the basic ability Sith Precision coming from under the cockpit and the ones from the special ability L70 Heavy Laser Cannons coming from the wings. Strategy Tips While Dagger is an option for your First Order fleet, it really thrives with other Sith. That's what I said. I didn't even look at this yet. I was just assuming that that was the plan, and clearly it is. <laughs> look for ways to get assists out of Tie Dagger. Enemies without full health should be priority targets. You know, one thing I've always found was weird is that the Sith Trooper and, um, that's this guy, right? Yeah, Sith Trooper and Sith... What's the other one called? Oh, Sith Empire Trooper. I always thought it was weird, like, that there were somehow Sith. Like, I thought Sith was, you know, the opposite of Jedi. Like, this guy ain't no Sith. He's just, like, a Sith minion, but I don't know. It's just, it's just weird. <laughs> You're not a Sith. <laughs> but anyways. Fact, how do you acquire TIE Dagger as a Galactic Chase? You know what? I misinterpreted. This is Galactic Chase. Galactic Chase isn't bad. You can actually get it pretty unlocked. I, I think one of the Galactic Chases, I got a character up to like 5 star or something right out the gate. I was thinking Conquest when I first read this. Galactic Chase isn't bad. If you play it right, you can get pretty decently unlocked. You can earn Tide Dagger Shards through bonus drops on Fleet Nodes starting this week. Is this ship required for Leviathan? Yes, there. this will be required at 7 star in order to unlock Leviathan. What are the other requirements for the Leviathan? The full requirements for Leviathan will be revealed soon. That's kind of weird. Like, why would anybody ask about Leviathan's requirements when you're on the TIE Dagger? Like, <laughs> what? Why does the ship have the First Order tag? Lore-wise, it was part of the first Final Order fleet, and we wanted to give you an option, an extra option. I mean, if you are looking for extra file power for the Finalizer. Yeah, the Finalizer. That's what it was called that I was trying to think of. It says, why does the ship have the first order attack? Why the fuck do you think? Because Sith Trooper does. He's both. <laughs> like, that's a dumb question. Here it is. I was going to say, is there any, uh... I was reading that little note down there. I was going to say, is there any, uh, kit reveal here? Or what the heck's going on? Here it is. Sith Precision. So they said we worked closely to make sure it comes out from underneath the cockpit. 
Final attacks deal physical damage to target enemy. If this attack scores a counter hit, I mean, wow, a critical hit, inflict ability block for one turn and gain 5% critical damage stacking for the rest of the encounter. Special one, L70 heavy laser cannons. Bing, 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 coming out of the side. Wow, they just keep going. How many shots does that do it again? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. <laughs> Final text, deal physical damage to all enemies. At the end of the turn, enemies with 100% health at the start of this ability are inflicted with vulnerable for one turn, and all other enemies are inflicted with tenacity down for one turn. Unique one, Emperor's Edict. Whenever an enemy attacks out of turn or another Sith ally is inflicted with a debuff that can be dispelled, gain one stack of vengeance. Whenever the vengeance bonus turn is triggered, Tie Dagger recovers 25% health and gains 5% offense stacking. For the rest of the encounter, during the Vengeance bonus turn, Tie Dagger can ignore Taunt and, if the allied capital ship is Sith, also ignore Protection. Vengeance. At 15 stacks, dispel all debuffs on all Sith allies, gaining a bonus turn, and then lose all stacks. Makes sense. Unique 2. Eradicate the weak. Crew skill. Final text. At the start of battle, or when reinforced, for each active Sith ally, including the capital ship, TIE Dagger gains 20% max protection and 10% tenacity until the end of the encounter. The first time each enemy falls below 100% health, TIE Dagger gains 25 defense penetration stacking for the rest of the encounter. Whenever TIE Dagger uses a basic ability against an enemy with less than 100% health, that attack scores a critical hit if possible. Whenever another ally attacks an enemy with a concussion mine, Tie Dagger assists, dealing 50% less damage once per turn. At the start of Tie Dagger's turn, recover 20% protection per enemy with less than 100% health. Mm, that's how they said it was helping. The, the weak, weak allies help. Because he recovers 20% protection. Wait, well, no, that's per enemy, though. I don't know. Whatever. Reinforcement. Premeditated response. Final text. Enter battle. <laughs> Tie Dagger gains 5 stacks of vengeance and critical damage up for 2 turns. Inflict a random enemy with healing immunity for 1 turn which can't be evaded or resisted. Cool. First, what star level will, will it be unlocked at? I guess it's alright, but I was hoping for Sith ship piloted by Talon. Hoping the drop rate is the same as what we saw with the Tie Defender. Is there a better date for the start of the Galactic Chase than this week? I mean, you do got a point there. This week could be Saturday. Like, <laughs> what date does the chase start? So, new Sith ship for Leviathan is a first order ship. Great. <clears throat> so, if I want an old Republic ship, I have to waste my crystals on this? I guess? I mean, I, I guess I see your point because you're saying, like, you want to work on getting a Sith ship, which is cool, but now you gotta. You're working on a ship that's basically first order, but I don't know. I feel like you're making a bigger deal out of it than it needs to be. A lifter unit for first order TIE pilot. Order TIE pilot. What? <laughs> Turnabout is fair play. To get the resistance cap ship, you need an older public ship as well. Who cares about resistance, though? What, you're talking about the Radis? <laughs> I was surprised this ship didn't launch with Rise of Skywalker. Glad to see it finally came in game. Glad to see it finally in game. Wow, I screwed that up. A bit of a lackluster kit, but it'll be interesting to see how it fits into the First Order fleet and how the Sith fleet is supposed to look. Currently, only Fury and Bomber seem somewhat good. Okay. Which you never use, am I correct? <laughs> yeah, like I just said, um, Radis sucks. Out of all the Sith ships available, this has to be the most boring one imaginable. <laughs> I mean, design-wise, it is pretty boring. <laughs> what is the most banked energy you can have? So, what was the deal with getting these day one again? I've been here forever, but this will be my first time ever paying attention to galactic chases. If you're going for, Leviath for the Leviathan as soon as it's released, then you will want this ship ASAP. If not, just get it as many shards as you can and go back to farming whatever you were farming before. I was able to get TIE Defender to 80 out of 100 with about four to 5,000 crystals before the event ended. About 5k, okay. First time trying this, so we'll see how it goes. Thanks! 
This is not a good choice to make as a requirement for Leviathan. I don't want to have to get some dumb looking <laughs> first order ship with reused animations so I can get something I actually want. I would gladly have gone all in on a Sith Empire Old Republic ship. And there are so many to choose from that are actually from that era. I was excited to be getting more Old Republic era stuff, but it seems... I mean, but so far, it seems like Leviathan will be the only new thing from that era. You guys are actually serious? I gotta run a First Order ship under a Darth Revan fleet? Logic equals nothing. My disappointment is immeasurable. Who is making you do that? Run it under a First Order capital ship. Still one more ship coming. I seriously hope you guys don't go for this chase or farm to shards based on all of your outrage. I also seriously hope that you are in my fleet arena shard. <laughs> all that to reuse the same two animations. Wow. Their time and money must be getting low. I mean, must be going to their new lauder game. Yeah, they worked really hard on finding the least Sith character with all that. I mean, from all that. With that tag and creating a, we wanted you to have extra option for first order. Blah, blah. Man, this is boring. Usually this is a little bit better what they talk about. This is boring. This ship was boring. I just read the whole kit reveal and don't even know anything about it because I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't care about this ship. The only thing cool is this new picture. Otherwise, yeah, like they said, the ship's boring. It is weird that it's first order when it's supposed to be Sith. And it's more first ordery. Like that's, they want you to use it with Sith, but my, my go-to would be first order. Like, that's what I would think, because that's what I think of Sith Trooper as. First Order, not a Sith. I do use him as Sith sometimes, but, like, he's my go-to in a um, Supreme Leader Kylo team. He's one of the guys I put in there. I don't know. And, like they said, the animations. I feel like ship animations are always reused, though. There's never anything new. Look at this. This is such a basic shot. Probably ten ships have this. This one's different, though. They said reused animations, but nothing else shoots 942 times. I mean, maybe maybe that little wussy swerve that the ship does here, maybe that's reused, but the move itself at least is kind of unique. I don't know. Boring ship overall, like I said, I don't even know anything about it, and I just read the kit reveal. That's why I wasn't commenting as I was reading it, because I wasn't even paying attention. I don't care. <laughs> Typically, I don't care about ships anyways, because the ratio of ships to characters is way off. You know, the, the ships, you have, I don't know, there's just not enough with ships. Not enough to do with ships, not enough for the ships. There's way too many capital ships to regular ships. You know, the ratio is way off, so I don't care about ships. It's the characters I care about that matters. But anyways... Here it is. Maybe you paid attention better than I did. And until next time, thanks for checking this out. And I said, see ya.